Ruins now forever. This is no fortress. And we're not... Oh, uh, right. Uh, go for the heart. Swing and swing and. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Swing and... This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. That ship sailed the Styx already. All I can hope for is to limit the damage. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. I'd love to join, but I don't think there's enough space for me to squeeze in. Fine. I shall wait in our camp. Let's make this happen. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. Oh my. <laughs> this is going to be a fun journey.
defender of the people. for the kids. Spare a story or two. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Don't fight fair. Fight to live. Something's on my mind. Step. Harry. Strike! Damn it! It's just not landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. You're right. I, I need to clear my head. And step parry, step, step, swing. Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Hopefully, it's just the goblins we have to worry about. The druids are treating us like vermin. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Oh, yes. I'll bite my tongue when the time comes. This is no fortress, is it? to kill six hundred focus children these boots have seen everything oh. you ain't gonna shoot me your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. I'm not afraid. Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. Oh, I'll bless you, all right. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her, too? <laughs> you, move! I 
Venom would hate me for this. But he's not here. They took him from me. Don't you dare! Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Not sure I get that. The bars don't make her special. But fine. Whatever. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you thieves are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <laughs> don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute, and hang you by your guts. Goddess. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Maybe she sent you to help me. And you will, if you want to save your skin. And if the teeth stick a few arrows in us on the way out of here, don't worry. Priestess Gut will patch us up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. I'd sooner swig a flask of acid than anything a goblin cooks up. It's the truth. I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids and your birdies and your dogs. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. It is if we end up dead. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. This place is lost. You're as bad as Leah. And I think one of her is quite enough in my life. Good day to you. Leah and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards! Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. What I do? 
waiting for some we'll the city soon. You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! Your cheeks aren't nearly ruddy enough, Petal. Are you hurt? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Well, that depends. What's wrong, lovey? I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you wish, Petal. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Sweetie. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl your face will find the trouble. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. of a concealed entrance. You're well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business, though. None of yours. This is our hideout. But hey, maybe you didn't know. Because of that, I'll give you a ten count to leave. Nine. Eight, seven, six. Remember, don't take your eyes off my hands. Oh, um, I, I don't have any money 
or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What? Um, I'm the guard. So don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Tails it is! See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother. She's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. Thank you. That means so much. That's what I got. You bought... You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. You here to trade or? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Last room. It is forbidden. Ah, my grizzled friend. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> We need to get Arabella out, now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Horrifying. We should check on the girl. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Do all the damn rich. 
lives are at stake. And the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. Try grease and palms. These things over. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Those dirt kissers would let us die for the sake of their bloody grove. Keep their confidence, if you insist. Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! <laughs> 